At the regional market, consumers get to buy food directly from local farmers. The produce is fresh and quite often less expensive than what you might find in a supermarket. Ann McPherson shops here often and says this year prices are higher. They're much higher than they were last year for sure. They're even higher this week than they were two weeks ago. The reason hot, dry weather is having an impact on locally grown produce because it's costing farmers more to irrigate their fields. But it's not as bad here as in other parts of the country. The feds say 20 percent of the nation is now in the severest stages of drought. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, consumers should brace themselves for a 3 to 4 percent increase in food prices next year. According to the USDA survey, the drought's impact on fruits and vegetables won't be nearly as bad as for meat and dairy products. In many parts of the Midwest, farmers have given up and are mowing down corn for livestock. Anticipating a big spike in the price of feed, they're taking their livestock to slaughter. June Wood owns the Longhorn Ranch in Bernard's Bay in Oswego County. Because she's an organic farmer with grass-fed cattle, Wood can get through this hot, dry weather better than many other farmers. But because of what's happening elsewhere, she expects consumers will soon see a drop in meat prices. But that will be followed by higher prices that could last three years. Sure, you'll see a lot go to the slaughterhouse, there'll be a, a flood and then the prices will drop and then of course there'll be a shortage because it takes two years to raise a calf and then also to impregnate it. So you're looking at a three years turnaround. So what's a consumer to do? June Wood says you should get to know your local farmers. You want to know where your food comes from and to understand why the prices do what they do. Um, find out how the farmer's operating his business and what he's affected by and then the appreciation of your food would be so much better. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Jim Kenyon.